My favorite mountain bike films all have one thing in common, and that is that the cameras used to make the films are a lot more expensive than the bikes that are being ridden in the films. And one of the cameras that you're probably most familiar with is the super slow motion camera. That one is made by Freefly, it's called the Ember 5K. My friend Mark actually works for Freefly and he happens to be in town. So we're gonna do a little day out here filming with that camera to see what we can get. Now we had to mix it up just a little bit for this video because it would be easy to put that Freefly camera in its natural environment. So I thought we should take it to an unnatural environment, downtown Portland. And to do that, I've got a special bike with me today. I've got my Marin Custom Trials bike, which I've been dying to take out and get some fresh air with. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Trials, this is what a street Trials bike looks like. And what makes it special is that it has a really small gear ratio here that allows you to have high torque output so you can make the bike jump in every direction. That kind of dynamic riding is gonna be really interesting for what we're gonna be filming today. So like I said, this isn't traditionally what they film these cameras with, but I think that's exactly why we have to do it. And of course, if you've got a $20,000 camera filming you, you gotta spread the wealth. So I invited my friends Dylan and Travis to ride with me today too. So welcome back to Super Rider, to all my friends that ride trials and started watching this channel because we were doing a lot of trials tutorials, we are back. You can do the whole thing. You have like a digital monitor that you can just carry around and you can even hit record off that. Correct. Tell me about the camera, like the name of it. What, did, what do people usually get these to do? So this is the Freefly Ember 5K camera. It specializes in high speed. It can shoot frame rates down to 24 frames per second, which is very standard frame rate. But then it can shoot all the way up to uh, 600 frames per second in 5K definition. Uh, 4K is up to 800 frames. I love how the battery is <laughs> the same size or Maybe even bigger than the camera body itself. I feel like even with the warm up, it's gonna look sick. Like we don't even need to go super gnarly. Like this camera can make anything look awesome and we're gonna prove it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the camera that Ant Hills anytime, like Red Bull Media House is putting this thing through its paces, basically. Correct, yep. And the form factor of this guy is such a selling point. Um, throw this on a drone. Uh, you put this on a drone? You put this on a drone, yep. So you've got this pole over here. How do you have the whole thing set up here today? What's what's our program looking like? Yeah, so we have uh, th uh, different mounting systems that just require just M3 screws, um, native NATO rails, where I just put the handle on this side. You can easily mount it on this guy. Um, we have one and quarter screws here that I literally just put any old monopod, screw it on top for any sort of uh, cool sweeping shot. See, this is the fun part too, is that stuff that you probably wouldn't film or even think to do, but it kind of feels cool and you think might look cool, it absolutely looks cool with this camera. Case in point, the ET where you go up on the front wheel and you pedal as hard as you possibly can, looks kind of silly at full speed, but in slow motion, it looks like this. Oh yeah, oh dude. So one thing this camera does really well is dynamic motion. And there's nothing more dynamic in my mind than a side hop, which is basically teleporting on a bicycle from down here to up here. This right here is one of my favorite places to ride in downtown Portland. There's all these blocks that are separated by just enough to make it interesting. So we come here in session quite a bit, but I wanna see what this looks like in slow motion. First try, Aaron, that was incredible. <laughs> Dude, sick. <Awesome. laughs> you know, the interesting thing, especially when it comes to this camera, is that 
And actually with filming in general, a lot of times the hardest thing actually doesn't look the coolest. A lot of times it's the other way around. And that's definitely the case with this thing here. Not the hardest drop I could possibly do, but it's well lit and it's gonna look cool in slow-mo. And well, that's what today is all about. Okay, no trip to downtown Portland is complete without stopping at this park right here. This is actually a legendary spot. Ryan Leach hit this drop right here years and years ago. And this place is just kind of it for trials. If you come to downtown Portland, you basically have to come here just like us. Side hop, side hop, side hop, I think. This little double side hop thing has been driving me absolutely crazy because you have to nail the timing and the precision just right. There's not a whole lot of room to put your back wheel in there and you have to do a big side hop on an angle to get the job done. I'm relieved to have that one in the bag. So what's the verdict on filming with a high powered camera like this? Just like everything in life, slowing down, looking at things from a new angle and getting a fresh perspective never hurts. It sure was fun to mix it up and try something new, although it might take me a little more time to save up to buy my own camera like this. We might have to wait until the next time Mark visits us in Portland, but one thing's for sure, it'll be worth it.